The immigrant story is the American story. A story of immigrants is the story of America. The immigrant story is the story of America. The story of immigrants is the story of America. We are pleased to welcome all as we introduce you to those building a safer and healthier tomorrow. As schools and communities reopen, millions of U.S. citizens and residents remain unvaccinated, allowing the Delta variant to spread and risk more lives. Therefore, it is as important as ever to make sure that everyone is vaccinated so that we can make things return to normal and we can overcome the pandemic. Vaccine hesitancy remains notably high in the immigrant community, even though the Center for Migrant Studies estimates that 69% of essential workers in the United States labor force are made up of immigrants. This makes immigrants a vital part of our society, and it makes it overcoming this vaccine hesitancy and this issue stemming from misinformation and fear imperative. My name is Jesse Zahn, and besides me is... Alicia Service. We come to you as high school students who have seen our schooling flip inside out due to the pandemic. Despite great attempts, virtual, virtual learning will never match the in-person experience, neither academically nor socially. From immigrant families ourselves, education is very important to us. This makes the upcoming restored academic year incredibly valuable. However, it's not secure. It's completely contingent upon 100% cooperation with health guidelines. However, unfortunately, too many people and individuals are hesitant to take the necessary steps. So, we turn to the doctors. Today, we'll be interviewing two esteemed medical professionals, both of whom are familiar with the immigrant background and will help us reflect on their journeys and will help us evaluate the current pandemic. First, we will speak with Dr. Henry Lee, an allergy and immunology specialist. Next, we're going to speak with Dr. Ruth Aguna, a pediatrician with a private practice in Elkhead City. With their insights, it will be imperative that we all work together and we can no longer deny that overcoming this vaccine hesitancy is important. Now, we turn to the doctors. Hi, Dr. Lee. Could you introduce yourself and take us through your journey to where you are now as a doctor? Oh. As a doctor, um, well, actually, just like you guys, uh, in during high school, I actually uh, really wanted to be an engineer. But um, you know, happened to be my my father uh, found this uh, program, and uh, they combined uh, undergrad and the medi medical school together. And uh, he said that this is a, a very promising program using U.S. system. At that time, is very rare in China, so. Uh, one of the two programs in China, actually. So we uh, felt, mm, okay, it uh, doesn't hurt to try, but uh, actually before I write the application, um, I never crossed my mind I want to be a doctor. But uh, looking back, I have no single regret. And uh, that's that's awesome. Mm -hmm. We understand that you studied in China and then you also studied in the United States to become a physician. And we were wondering how that transition was for you. Actually, my journey is very long education-wise. I have, um, you know, I have a college, medical school, eight years, and a residency, three years, and 11 years after in 11 years in China. And then I came to the state, spent five years for a PhD program, and then three years of residency, another two years for fellowship, so it took me another 10 years. So a total 21 years for my training and uh, extensively trained. COVID has affected us all. We were wondering how the pandemic has reaffirmed your decision to become a physician. The pandemic and I, I think it changed a lot of people's life as a physician. Uh, um, most of us uh, realize acutely and uh, people when people in sickness in national emergency physicians role is uh, even more prominent we we uh, the the community need a physician to help calm the patients educate the patients and also and uh, take care of their medical need and uh, so i think this uh, really an opportunity to let a physician to shine the pandemic has lasted almost one and a half years. Back in March 2020, did you expect the pandemic to still be going on now? I followed the pandemic from the very beginning because I'm uh, from uh, mainland China. And uh, so even uh, in January, I was uh, planning to go back to China for Chinese New Year. Uh, my, my trip canceled because of the um, 
uh, the Wuhan the pandemic. But at that time, I was thinking 17 years ago,、um, there was a SARS, the SARS、um, in China, and、uh, they were quite serious, very serious. And、uh, fortunately, that got controlled and didn't spread to anywhere else、uh, outside China and Hong Kong.、Uh, pretty much that's it, con- contained. I, the time I, I was thinking this time probably more or less the same, maybe a little bit more, but、uh, not.、Uh, we think、uh, in my mind, the U.S. probably not going to be affected much because.、Uh, China is a very densely populated people, you know, on top of each other, almost like New York City everywhere. And、uh, here, and you know, we all live in quite distant、uh, from each other. So I think、uh, even they come to U.S., it's not going to be that bad. And I think this、uh, took everybody by surprise. We just、uh, want to,、um, for physician, every patients I see, I first question I ask is. Have you been vaccinated? So I think that's our obligation to convince people go to get vaccinated. It's vaccination is not only for yourself; it's for everybody、yeah. you interact with and you love, and actually it's for the community, for society. A lot of people, I think, they don't. They have concerns about the vaccine safety, and they, they have all those.、Uh, Worries, and they they ignore a fact is how dangerous the virus is. We already have more than half a million people died in U.S. We have, you know, so many people infected, and cause so much trouble for the society. And the why you have still hesitate, why you don't want this to be controlled, and the people worry about their own so-called safety concern and、uh, worries. They think that's their body. That's they have the right. But、uh, as for society, everybody count. We have to get everybody vaccinated.、Mm-hmm. Thank you very much for your insights. Sure, you certainly. Yes. Educational, informative. We really appreciate you taking the time to speak. Of course, of course. I'm always happy to to talk to you guys. Thank you very much. Of course. Very good. Can you introduce yourself and take us through your journey as to where you are now as a doctor? Okay, my name is、uh, Dr. Ruth Aguna. I'm a pediatrician at Howard County. I started my journey when I was 16. I went to school in Bulgaria. I finished medical school there. I came. I went back to Nigeria in 1984. So I went in 1997 to Bul- 1977 to Bulgaria, 1984 to Nigeria. I worked, interned in Nigeria, worked as a、uh, general physician, and then came over to the United States in 1988 and got married. And in 1990, I started a residence in pediatrics at Howard University Hospital and DC General. And in 1993, I、um, finished my residency at Howard in pediatrics, got board certified, worked.、Uh, As a locum tenens and at Howard County General as a neonatology、uh, pediatrician in the NICU, and from there I started my practice in 1997. I also started working at、um, Harbor Hospital in 1995, and I opened up this practice here in 1997. Worked at Morgan State University since 1995 as the director of the health center at Morgan State University. And I opened up a practice with other pediatricians in Greenbelt and Silver Spring in 19, 2012. So all through then, I've been a pediatrician here in Howard County and working in the hospital some nights. So I work at Harbor Hospital right now in the pediatric、uh, intensive care, neonatal intensive care unit because we no longer have a pediatric unit. How has the pandemic affirmed your professional choice to be a physician? So I love what I do, and、uh, COVID-19 has sh- reaffirmed the importance of preventive care, which is what pediatrics does a lot, and so and infectious diseases because we have a lot of those kind of cold symptoms, flu season, and so it has affirmed the importance of my role in pediatrics as a human being, as a physician, and as a scientist. So 
it has really made me realize that what we do is important. Yeah. With your experience as a pediatrician, what would you tell parents and young people who are hesitant to get themselves or their kids vaccinated? I would say that I understand the hesitancy. I also understand um, the fear because of all that is out there and the increase in social media. And, you know, you could be on any social media platform and minding your own business and you will have all sorts of things coming at you. So I would say that they should trust the science because the science has gotten us to where we are. Um, we are, I'm originally from Africa. Well, I was born here, but my parents are from Africa. And I do mission trips in every, I've done mission trips to Haiti with my church, to Nigeria, and they don't have the access to healthcare that we have. They do not have the, um, the, the choice to say no to vaccines. They have to get vaccines. They will struggle to get the vaccines. And if you look at the infant mortality in developing countries, and the infant mortality here, you would see the importance. Child mortality, I hear that in Venezuela and some countries, they don't even name their children to two until they are two years of age because they can succumb to any of the infectious diseases that we have been able to prevent in America. So I would say it's a privilege to be an American. Go get your vaccines because otherwise you, you can see right now what is happening in the ICUs and the pediatric ICs used in all of the states that have refused to get the vaccine. So if you love your children, you love your family, get vaccinated. It's so important. Before we go, we have a concluding message from Mike Mitchell of Luminous and Suki Lee of the Howard County Library System. Welcome everybody and thank you for watching this important video. I'm Mike Mitchell. I'm the CEO of the Luminous Network for New Americans. And I'm Suki Lee, the branch manager of the East Columbia branch of the Howard County Library System. We're here today to confront misinformation, to share facts, and to bring the message to you about getting vaccination. Why is that so important? At the library, we are a community. We are a community that supports facts and knowledge. And those facts and knowledge are what's going to change our community. Getting vaccinated is so important. I mean, this is not just about your future, it's the future of the young people you just saw. The hosts, if you care about their future, if you wanna make a difference, then go out and get vaccinated. You know, at Luminous, we say it's from you to us. Well, make it about us by taking a step for you. Get vaccinated. Please get vaccinated.